Hey, welcome back YouTube to more MSQ playthrough. We are uh, finishing up Post and Walker. We're getting towards Dawn Trail for sure. We're in Nabath Orang. Let's go ahead and pop into it. Your timing couldn't be better. I've just finished up my business here. Lena has told me all. It would be my pleasure to take you to Nabath Orang. As soon as the other helpers arrive, that is, they're supposed to be along any moment now. I mask, it really is you. We understand you are faced with quite a predicament, and when an esteemed customer is in need, the merchants of Mordsuk are eager to provide. Captain bade us assist you, sir, to ensure that light is delivered to the Crystarium. Members of our guard will place transmitters in Lakeland, and the good people of Mordsuk will do likewise in the Hills of Amber. You need but focus on your own task in Nabatharang. Yet more people clamoring to help you. It'd almost be super more surprising if they hadn't shown up. If everyone is ready, then let's get to work. Wait! You're heading to Nabatharang and didn't call on us. But most of our Talos are still in a sorry state, we've spared no effort in maintaining the trolley. We've even upgraded it. As a matter of fact, it's faster than ever and can deliver you to Nabatharang in no time at all. After everything you've done for us, we can't just sign idly by. Vancred would never let us hear the end of it. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I dare say we have ample help. Come, let's go and acquire our light. her power and legacy. I see. Let's get started then, shall we? The transmitters are set. Whenever you're ready.
almost too much for one steeped in darkness like me. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. If this power were mine to wield... into herself her body struggles to contain it she needs help Better now, I think. Then you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? I had to know if I could command the light. If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities in myself and everything else. Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love. Or so I convinced myself. But then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself. And find the strength to live. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am, to be able to think that brought me peace. And it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends. Those who believe in us. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. If anyone can do it, it'd be Reen. So it would seem. 
Right then. I'm counting on you. Here I go. I can feel it. The light's warmth welling within me. Then I believe it worked. With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear. We've done our part, and I trust that others will see the light to our destination. It's time we return to the source. I shall seek out Beglog and have them return my soul to the spirit vessel. Sorry, I was trying to figure out which one Viper fell under. It was aiming. Well, I suppose this is it. I don't know if you had any other preparations to attend to or people to visit, but I'll go on ahead to the ocular. I know it's like 10 feet away, but save about two seconds. The tower stands ready to send light into the rift, and if Zero's soul is secure in her vessel once more. Our helpers across the realm have also sent word that the transmitters are in place. Once the others have set on the moon of Zero's world, we should have the foundation of our ethereal current. To make matters easier, the transmitters broadcast a powerful signal that can be detected by the tower even across the rift. Upon confirming that the Void Ones are active, we will send forth the light. The rest of it will be up to you. We'll all be praying for your success. Now go, make haste back to the Source and save your worlds. Thank heavens you've returned. The lawbirds report that the brands are on the verge of failing. We have no time to spare. I shall restore Zero to her body at once. That's better. I was worried that the soul transference process might affect the light I absorbed, but it feels as potent as before. The radiance of your soul was impossibly blinding. I don't know how you would have managed without Reen's help. While Reen helped me to contain the light, it was you. All of you. 
who gave me the courage to even make the attempt. Your friendship, your acceptance, that includes the people of the first. The Knights Blessed in particular showed me great kindness, as did Runar, whose only regret seemed to be that you could not join us. What regrets we share, ours is a reunion long overdue. If all is in readiness, then I will assume my dragon form and fly to the moon. In the meantime, you make your own way to the Drowning Brand, where we shall reconvene before sallying forth once more into the void. Sea of Stars. Time to take the fight to the enemy, is it? The darkness has been utterly relentless, gnawing at the seal like I might an iron carrot. Strike fast and hard because you won't get another chance. As a precaution, we further enhance the combat supporters. You don't need to worry about us while you're away. I shall maintain my vigil over the brands. Pray see that thou art ready to depart as soon as Vitra and the others have assembled. May the light shine the way to victory and deliver you all safely home. The dark pall over the crater has grown thicker, and on the other side lies Golbez's domain. We'll have altered the terrain to hinder us. I don't sense his presence, but I wager he is in the crater. It would be ideal if we were, I shall hurry. Wait, it would be ideal if he were. I shall hurry and place the transmitters. Once they are activated, our cross rift ethereal current will be established, and light will flow freely from the first. In theory, at least. It will work out, it must. Without further ado then, light from beyond the rift, shine forth and banish the darkness. Excellent. The tower is replete with light from the Bath Arang. Commencing transmission!
An opening. It worked. Let us waste no time and sally forth. Alas, I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. For a blessing, I prepared my simulacrum for such an eventuality. My true form shall stand guard here while we explore the castle. Tis faint, but I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence trapped within Zeromus. Not where she was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. The descent will not be so easy this time. The chasm swarms with void scent. Summoned by Golbez, perhaps, or born of the residual darkness. Whenever they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Is everyone ready? Zero? That light should shine in the void once more. No single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. You knew this once, surely, when you tried to befriend me. When you were one of the precious few left willing to trust in another. But that man is gone. And in his place, a mockery of his beliefs. <gasps> it's the same as before. Though we walk different paths, we seek the same destination, and yet... There is something I must know. A truth that lies waiting in the dark. Rest assured, I will not let my emotions overwhelm me. When the moment comes, I will call to my sister and I will rest her from her, free from her Zerumas. The crater awaits. Woe betide any who bar our path. Is this a dungeon? I think this is a dungeon. The lunar oh the lunar subterranean, okay. I didn't think we were getting a dungeon, I thought we were getting a trial. Let's do it.
song is incredible. Oh, it's the Memoria Crystal. Oh. Hurry, Golbez. The city is already overrun. First the villages and now the capital. Nothing is exempt from their avarice. Let's <laughs> go. 
Elsewhere, cowards. This one is dangerous. Have care, Golbez.
command such terrible beasts bodes ill. We've no time to lose. Such destruction. my way. my way.
This can't be happening. Not to you. My friend. My hero. I will stop you even should it cost me my life. Moriot Durante. Thanks, Zero. Even so, I'll not be messed with. Not 
this day. This should take him out. Ooh, right before I got taken out. Gamble, the gamble. So half of the dungeon took place in the Memoria Crystal. wish to become a monster preying upon those who fought to protect but neither can I bring myself to kill you You will never die. This I swear. Through me your name shall live on as the hero who saves the world. We've been released from the memory, twould seem.
If Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria, then the one we've been fighting is... No more than an imposter playing at hero. Durante, I presume. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Bitch, no one's alive to remember. Fuck history. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation. And I will not suffer you to interfere. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. For I'm driven by the same. I too wish to save our world. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. But I was wrong. We may yet strive together towards our shared goal. If you would reconsider your course. I hope he does. Be nice. <laughs> Uh, probably not, no, because he's gotta be a bad guy. If you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. But you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Perhaps we aren't all powerful, and cannot affect great change in an instant. Even so. Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as well as any. As Golbez, I dedicated myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted Memoriates and attempted to redeem those twisted by their power. Yet try as I might, I was powerless to make any meaningful change. Twas then, when I was floundering in despair, that she appeared. The Asian Igeom. He was on par with La Habrea and Emmet Sal. Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she showed me to the moon, where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said. And now prolonged the war. Believing her every word, I struck him down. And caused darkness to engulf the world. What? Then it was you who... As Emmett Selk once told us, the 13th was the Asian's first attempt at a rejoining, before they fully understood the mechanisms at play. They failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the Source. The darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. 
having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them, to trust in others. Since that day, I have sought the means to undo my mistake. The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. The dragon was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether that expedited my endeavors time and again. But it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it. For an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came when I acquired the power I sought. I, the remnants of the Asians' god sealed within the moon, suddenly dispersed into ether. With that ether, Zeromus could be conceived, and driven by the dragon's longing for home, it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between worlds. Thus will the way open to the promised land, and the death we have been too long denied. Thus will I, Golbez, Bring salvation to all! So that is all you have left. Say what you will. You cannot stop Zeromus' awakening. Going after him, aren't we? Aye. That's why we came, after all. And besides... When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. In others and yourself. Euless was right about that. Didn't fall asleep it's just there's i'm just sitting here thinking about everything and it's uh, like i feel i feel bad for durante because like i get it i get it and i i hope there's some salvation in there for him i hope it's not we just defeat him i hope he comes to the light i hope that the light that zero absorbed i don't know finds some way to reach out to him he's he's suffered pretty much for so long and like yes it was his fault that the 13th ultimately ended up in darkness but it's because the fucking Asians. anyways that's gonna do it for this one um heavy heavy stuff uh like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one as we wrap up post and walker take it easy